around the topic of birth control. Some women felt like there were changes in their mental health throughout um, their experience taking birth control, like either they had depressed moods or their anxiety increased. Um, and I was wondering what you know about the connection there. Oh, well, there's so much of a connection. And I feel like that's like the one thing that I think, unfortunately, the conventional medical community sometimes brushes under the rug. Um, well, one, basically, so you've, again, we have two, two, the two main hormones that are in birth control that, you know, that we all know of, um, estrogen and progesterone. Well, they both independently have an impact on mental health. So estrogen, I kind of think of it as sort of like our happy hormone. It like lifts it up. It gives us like a lot of energy. But on the flip side, when we think about almost like if somebody sort of has like a, like a manic depressive type of personality or like that kind of, so that kind of energy could also be anxious and irritable. So we're thinking about, like, that's what we think about when we think about estrogen. On the flip side, progesterone is sort of very calming, very um, restorative, sleepy. Also, both estrogen and progesterone have a relationship to uh, the sleep hormone melatonin, uh, mm -hmm. where basically progesterone and melatonin both increase each other. So too much progesterone will make somebody feel more depressed. In fact, actually, um, there is a condition that's called PMDD, uh, premenstrual dystrophic disorder. And basically, these women either have an excess of progesterone or their bodies just react more strongly to, uh, I did say progesterone, I hope that I said progesterone. Uh, too much progesterone or a strong reaction to progesterone where their depressive symptoms are so extreme that they actually feel, um, have suicidal ideation. I've actually seen that uh, actually a few times in my practice. So just the hormones alone, and remember we're dealing with artificial hormones, which our bodies are getting used to recognizing and they just act stronger than our regular hormones. So that's yeah. heightened. Uh, so that's just them alone, but then also thinking about, again, different nutrients and, and nutrient deficiencies, and, and there's some key nutrients that, um, when given, can really help, basically because another thing to think about, these two hormones have a big relationship with serotonin, and I think mm. serotonin, most people might know, but it's, um, it's a neurotransmitter, and it's very important for mood stabilization, but uh, you know, it's one of these things where if it's too high, one feels a little bit anxious and speedy, and if it's too low, someone feels very depressed. And, and both of the progesterone and the estrogen have a big impact on, on serotonin production. That is so fascinating. And yes, I totally agree that it's not spoken about or understood enough to really have someone be empowered to make a decision or learn more about what are the things that they can do right. um, simply by taking some extra nutrients or by really shifting their diet that would make a dramatic impact. Um, I would also connect the general nutrient depletion that happens when you take birth control that would also impact um, just mental health because simply those vitamins, minerals, cofactors, whatever, aren't there, aren't present in the reactions that are necessary for um, mood stabilization and production of serotonin and all of that. Is that right? Oh, I yeah, 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 exactly. Wow. 